Okay. For this repair, we're going to demonstrate how the uh, Wonder Bar bridge can repair stone breaks without the piston. The tool itself can do the vacuuming and the pressuring and the flexing without the piston. So this is just so you understand the uniqueness of this one and only tool in the market on uh, how this opens up the brake like nothing else in the business. And the reason, again, it opens up the brake so much is because with a bridge, supports on two sides, you have better leverage. These cups do not put the glass in tension because tension is bad. Tension closes the brake. Compression down opens the brake. Okay, so this is a, uh, I have a, got three legs on it. I'm going to drill it. And tap a bullseye. Now here's something you haven't seen before. A teaspoon or a cappuccino spoon or a baby spoon it works great as a bullseye tapper. Look at that. What a teaspoon. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, mount my Wonder Bar bridge. I'm going to put a little bit more Vaseline on the suction cups. Always want to keep them well lubed so you have a nice seal and the suction stops stay flat to the glass. Okay, now remember I got this bolt back. Now I'm going to mount over the impact point. Now there's no resin in there. Okay, so now I'm going to get myself level. And I'm going to put the red, drop the resin in the cylinder. It's a demonstration. Okay, so now we're going to let the uh, resin seep into that brake a little bit. And now we're going to start to flex the glass. Now, when could you use actually use this in the real world is on a hot windshield. Because as you know, on a hot windshield, the PVB is soft, almost liquid. And that is the notorious time for flowering a brake. And the reason you flower a brake is because you use too much piston pressure. Piston, too much piston pressure is not good. So this one, we're removing the piston out of there, so there's no way that we're gonna flower the brake. We're gonna use the flexing of the glass by the tool to fill the brake. Now, this will take longer than using the piston, but uh, you should do this while you're uh, learning and practicing just so that you can uh, learn the advantages of this structure. And you can see the side to those legs there, the resin is filling in the middle. And now I'm going to release the pressure and see if the resin goes forward. into the leg. Now I'm going partially up the brake, up the legs. And so now I'm going to increase the flex again. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if we're getting anywhere. Okay, they're about halfway filled. I'm going to increase the flex again. Okay, now you see the resin scooting forward on those legs. It's almost done. Flex it again. All right, you can see those legs are almost done. There's one little tip there. So we'll go back up, increase the flex again. Again, in the real world, you're going to be using a piston to speed things up. But we're just showing you how to use this tool. And we recommend you do this once or twice when you're uh, training yourself and practicing. So you get to understand the advantages of using this tool. Flex and release. Flex and release. Now, if you try doing this with a tool that has a suction cup right here and it's a stiff cup, it, the cup is going to pull up on the glass when you push down. And that is opposing forces. You're trying to open the brake, but when a cup is pulling up on the glass, which, which cups do, is they push up on the glass and put the glass in tension, and that will close legs. So that's why the uh, bridge with uh, almost three inches between the cup and the, uh, and the injector is why this works so well. And of course, leverage. This is leverage. Okay, let's see how we are. Okay, now you can see the leg disappearing. Almost. Let's go back up. Okay, now we have released the flex in the glass. And I'm going to pull it up and uh, we'll show you. See, all the legs are filled. Okay, so we might as well cure it. So you want to cure it a little bit of pressure on here so that it's uh, flexed open and you get an overfill just a hair not much since you don't have the piston in there okay so normally you're just going to put that on for two minutes 
Okay, but for the sake of speeding this thing up, we're just gonna pop this off. Okay. And take a look, you see, we filled up all those legs and everything without using a piston. Okay, now we're gonna pit fill this and that's all we need. Okay.